Welcome back to another Reaper blog video. Today I have a list of six super productive and creative things that will help you be creative, productive, and better use your time in the studio. So all the things in this list would be great for you to do when you're bored, or if you only have a limited time, like 10 or 15 minutes, and little by little, they're going to help you uh, get better at music production. And before we get started, I need to say that this video is sponsored by Skillshare, and you'll find out a little bit more about them later. Number one, browse and organize your presets. Pick a virtual instrument at random and start going through the presets. Often there are some basic management options like ranking or starring favorites. If not, you can just save a preset in Reaper's built-in uh, preset management. Going through the entire list might take you more than 15 minutes, especially if there's a lot of good ones, but once you have this done, you'll not only have curated a list of the best, but you'll also have a better understanding of what this instrument is capable of. I've been going through the Yuhi Synths, the Analog Lab, the Air Instruments. All of these plugins come with a ton of presets, but they're not always appropriate for this type of music that I make. So getting that list down to just a few of my favorites has really helped me a lot. Number two, save new presets and templates from your previous projects. Open up one of your previous projects and start saving anything you might want to reuse later. Save a preset for a great guitar tone, the effects chain for that killer vocal delay with sidechain ducking that you set up, or save multiple tracks at once with all the complex routing and effects together as a track template. Build up a library of your best sounds. It will save you time and effort in future projects. Number three, sample literally anything. With a portable recorder or even your phone, you can record common everyday objects and turn them into something interesting, useful, otherworldly with simple editing and effects. A spice grinder can become a percussion groove, smacking a paper bag becomes a snare, a squeak from a door can become a horror pad. Number four, watch a tutorial. So of course, since you're watching this video, you already had this idea. YouTube is obviously a great place to find tutorials, but this is also a good time to talk about the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in music and video production, art and design, and more. Recently, I took a class on Lua Scripting Basics, which helped me get a better understanding of the structure of scripts in Reaper. I took a course on improving my YouTube channel. And last week, my kids and I enjoyed a class together on doodling every night before bed. So there's really something for everyone here. I love that there are no ads or distractions on the site, and an annual subscription is less than $10 a month. The first 500 people to use the link in the description will get two free months of Skillshare Premium membership. So check it out. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Number five, timed challenges. Set a timer, grab a random sound, and turn it into something completely different. This is a great way to practice your sound design skills and build up a collection of sound mangling effects chains. If music is more your focus, try making a song in just 10 or 15 minutes. It's even better to do this while screen recording. You can quickly find several things that slow down your creative flow and areas that you can improve and optimize. 
If you wasted five minutes just getting the kick drum sound right, you need to collect a small set of favorites so in your next challenge you can get past that stage in just five seconds. I really enjoy doing these time challenges and I highly recommend either for sound design or music production, just keep doing these and you'll get better, you'll get faster, you'll optimize your workflow and you'll really understand what things you like and dislike, what things are important to you or not. Hey Siri. Not you, the other one. <laughs> timer 15 minutes. Your timer is set for 15 minutes. All right, let's go. I'm going to insert contact for my drums. And I'll use the Prism library to speed this up. I've, I just right click here. And I've got Prism right there. OK, I like this one today. Moving on. So I've got a pattern to make. Double click that, bring this up. And turn the key snap off and do a drum map. So 16th and Um, let's do one and three, like standard. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do quarter notes, I guess. Let's try 16th note hi-hats and see if this is good. Nope, I want 8th note hi-hats. So arranging this as a thing would be um, making a region. I'll make it four times, Get those extra markers. And so it would probably be like mute that one, that one, and that one, and then mute that one. And that one, that one, and take that one away. Okay, time's up. Let's hear this one more time. Sorry, <laughs> I just tried to change the tempo, that's all. But yeah, 15 minutes on the clock. I got four different ideas, or well, a couple of different ideas. Different sounds, and I can either continue with this or uh, forget about it, go on to the next one. It's only 15 minutes committed. Number six, 
production analysis. Take one of your favorite songs and break it down. Figure out what makes it great. Even if you're not great at music theory, it's a good exercise. What are the layers in each section and how would you describe their role? What has your attention in each part and why? Map out the structure and chart the dynamic levels. This can actually be a really tough thing to do, but at least you get to listen to your favorite music over and over again and learn more about it by dissecting it. So there's my list of six super productive, creative things that you can be doing in your studio. Uh, these things really help me and I hope they'll help you as well, especially if you only have a limited time in your studio. 15 minutes a day spent, spent on this is better than not using your studio at all. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.